What is going on Dufferin County? Welcome to our first online session for our Be Kind to Our Mind program. This program, as you know, is made just for you. This video is meant to be like a five-ish minute recap of what I talked about last night, last night being March 22nd. Thank you so much for the awesome feedback. I have already had probably about 10 to 15 emails, DMs, questions coming in or comments about what you liked about last night, what you wanna see moving forward. So that is awesome. Keep those coming in. If you wanna reach me and you're like, hey Mike, can we explore this next week? Hey Mike, I would love for you to explain about how to use mindfulness and sleep or mindfulness and emotions and mindfulness and thoughts. Message me directly at mindfulmike.ca. Go to contact Mike, just like that. Or of course you can DM me at Mindful Massey, M-A-S-S-E. So the Coles notes from last night, there's a couple of things that people messaged me that said really resonated with them. The first thing is this idea that subtle practices have a significant impact in your well-being. And I gave the example of like, let's imagine that you are in this huge dark house and you have a match and you go through this house and you have this match and the match goes out. So you're constantly kind of lighting the match and seeing little things at a time. And then over time, as you develop your practice of mindfulness, these subtle practices over time start to illuminate things and your awareness grows and grows. So it goes from a match to like a candle. And then you're walking around with this candle and things are much brighter now. And then that goes from a candle to like a lantern. And then you have a lantern, you're seeing things. And then it goes from a lantern to like a spotlight. And you're able to purposely bring your awareness to that painting on the wall. You're purposely allowed to bring your awareness to your frustration or to your happiness in that moment. And this is what happens over time when we have a systematic practice of mindfulness, a regular routine practice, an informal practice, what's informal, training your brain to be present on purpose so you can use those practices throughout your day so you're more aware of what's actually happening now. So that's what my intent is throughout these weeks with you, throughout these videos and in-person talks, uh, those four talks in person, to help you learn the practice of mindfulness in subtle ways because doing these subtle practices over time have a significant impact over time. It's not gonna happen in a day, it's not gonna happen in a week, it's gonna happen in weeks of you regularly practicing this practice of self-care. So that was the first big thing. Another big thing that people loved I got, I got two or three messages right after, uh, was this idea or this concept of that we want to treat our emotions equally. You know, I gave the example of I took Bo to school uh, and the teacher said, oh, you know, Bo seemed a little off today. He didn't seem like himself. He seemed a little sad. And I asked him, like, you know, are you sad? Are you angry? And asked him why. And he was like, I don't know. I just am. And I asked the teacher, do you ask him the same thing if he's happy? Do you try to figure out why he's happy? Like, do you have a really good day at home? And she looked at me like, oh, that's a good point. And I said to her, emotions in mindfulness, we want to look at them with equanimity, this idea of holding them with balance. You know, that's why I wrote my book, Andy Gets Angry. I wanted to give humans tools that, hey, if you are angry, it's okay to be angry, but how you hold that anger is the most important thing to me. So I gave the example of if you're holding a handful of broken glass, some people hold the glass and they squeeze it tight and they're mad that they're holding the broken glass and they're angry what happened to the glass and how much money it's gonna cost and they squeeze it tight, tight, tight and they go to work and they put it in their pocket and they still hold on it to it tightly. You have the option of just holding the glass like this and not hurting yourself or making yourself suffer any further. So we looked at those concepts. It's really seemed that that resonated with people and we looked at the three breathing exercises. So below this video, you're gonna see three breathing exercises and they're pretty simple to follow. One is the four in, four out. Then we have the four, seven, eight, and then we have the, the four and eight. And how they all work is you just go and press play, just like that. Put your headphones on, press play, just like that. And all I want you to do is pick what one you like the most and use it for this week. And then I'll ask you some questions next week and we'll see where we're at. So all you have to do this week is pick one of the three exercises. Reminder for the four in, four out, we're breathing in for that one, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Your mind is a thought, bring it back to the present moment. Don't get mad at your mind for having thoughts. Breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Mind goes away, just come back. No matter how many times your mind goes away, welcome it to come back. The four, seven, eight, all we're doing with that is we're breathing in for that one, two, three, four, holding. We're holding it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out the mouth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's it. Four, seven, eight. If you don't want to do that one, 
Then try this one. What's that one? Good question. The four and eight. And the four and eight is just like the four and four, but we're going four in, one, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ideally breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. So that's what we're doing this week. One of these three videos, you test it out. You let me know how it's going. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, never hesitate to reach out to me directly at mindfulmike.ca, just hit contact Mike, or DM me directly at Mindful Massey, M-A-S-S-E. I truly look forward to working with this group. I am super stoked and excited to help you wherever you are in your practice of mindfulness and continue to send those messages, continue to reach out, let me know where I can help you. And of course, I'm not going to make a video about your question if it's personal, obviously. So peace and love. Have a beautiful, beautiful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.